What is going on YouTube? Mob Beach here. And uh today we're gonna do something a little different. No it's not Black Ops 2, no it's not Modern Warfare 3, it's not a video game, and it is completely separate from that. It's a it's a game that I it's a card game that I play, uh I used to play it a lot and I'm starting to get back into it and I just wanna show you guys a little bit of Yu Gi Oh! That's what it's called. It's Yu Gi Oh! card game. It's uh let's see here, we got the back of the card. It is a Yu Gi Oh! trading card game, as you can see there in the corner. Made by Konami. I don't take any I don't take any credit for this. I'm just I used to love to play it. I'm trying to get back into it now, I'm trying to play more. Um, as you can see here, custom mat. It was uh, custom drawn by hand by uh, if okay. There's another card game, but I don't play it. It's called um, Magic. It's called Magic. The designer for the Magic cards that draw all of the that draw most of the images. He drew this custom design and it was purchased for me for my birthday by my parents. I really like it. Um, I've always liked things to deal with dragons. One of my main Yu-Gi-Oh decks is about dragons. Um, it's just, it's really cool. As you can see, it's in black and white except for the jewels, which I think make it stand out more. And then, hold on, wait, zoom out. Right here is this autograph is a signature. Moving slow. It's David R actually I'm not even gonna try to say it. I don't I don't know specifically what it is. But that doesn't matter. Uh right now I'll I might look it up and put it down in the comments below. We'll just see it just it just depends on if I get around to it or not. So let's just go ahead and get started. First, I want to show you guys a... If you're looking to start playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Or looking for a beginner's deck. And what you and if you just want to make your opponents forfeit. Because the game takes so long. This here, this deck that I built right here. Is a lockdown deck. Or sort of like a stalling deck. Alright, as you can see, Iron Chain, Dragon, hold on, the focus, can okay, focus, you can see the name there, design, and you can see down below the little description, basically, what you're going to do for this deck is you're going to need a lot of defensive monsters and things like that. So you can indeed uh hold on, let me zoom out. Because if I zoom out all the way out, then it will be able to focus better. Like that. Archie Dragon, his little description down there. It focuses there it is. And the description reads Dragon, Synchro, and then effect. Below it it says one tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters and then it says as the description you can re you can remove from play all iron chain monsters from your graveyard to have this card gain 8 200 attack for each card removed and until the end phase when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent in the top three cards of your opponent's deck to the graveyard. Its attack is 2,500, two its defense is 1,300, and it's a pretty good card for this defense deck. Now I'm going to uh, split this up into two parts. What we're going to do first is I'm going to show you all the tribute monsters and normal monsters and normal effect monsters that you will need, and then 
uh, we will also have the spell, magic, and trap cards that you will need to go along with this. So, what I'll do here is I'll sort them out quickly. Should have done this previously for the video, but I didn't even think about splitting it up because obviously I cannot record forever. So I do use a camera. Uh, won't take long. There's a lot of different things. There's a lot of different aspects to this game, and I will go into depth later with the rules of the game, the rules that I personally use that I think fit the style of play that I like, and then also I will go ahead and read some of the sections from the rule book, and then I will read the tougher sections to understand, and then I will um, basically lay it all out for you, you guys so that you have a better understanding. I do like to see people playing this. I've been invited to a couple tournaments, but I never actually go because they're usually far away. So what you're going to need is we have our monster cards here. All these are monster cards, as you guys can see. We count these out. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 monster cards. This deck does total up to be around 60 cards. 60 cards is the limit in the card game of Yu-Gi-Oh! You cannot have over 60 cards, but there is a, um, there's a minimum the maximum is 60, there's a minimum of 40 cards so that the game does last long because one of the rules of the game is the person who runs, if the game does not end when all of your life points are drained then the person who draws, who runs out of cards from their deck to be able to draw the first loses the game completely, no matter what even if they have more life points than the other person so what we're going to do is go ahead here first I want to take a look at our cards. We've got Cannon Soldier. As you guys can see there. Pretty good. All you do is tribute one monster and you inflicts 500 damage to your opponent directly. You've got your Gladiator Beast. Uh, Hop Lamus. I don't want to mess that up. Uh, his effect doesn't really matter to me because I don't use it often. I just use his defense. As you can see there, 2100. Pretty good. Mechanic Bunny. I will come back to him later because ha he has a better his special ability that I really like. Statue, oh no, Stone Statue of the Aztecs. He has a good defense, uh, 2,000, and his effect is that any damage taken from taken from him by the or that the opponent takes from him is doubled. Next, we will move on to Iron Chain Snake. As you can see, another Iron Chain monster next to my Iron Chain Dragon. What he does is you equip him to a opponent's monster. See, there's another one. You equip him to an opponent's monster, and he decreases that monster by uh, 800 attack and defense. And then when that monster is destroyed, he sends the top uh, cards off the opponent's deck, however many the stars equal to the the monster that he was equipped it on and then that'll deal with the rest of the that'll deal more in depth with what we're gonna do later on um... as you can see for those guys they're really good They you need you need to have a minimum of three for this deck you're gonna need iron chain coil um... he's basically the tuner to bring out iron chain dragon you can use his effect which allows you to gain iron chain Another Iron Chain monster, some attack and defense. Iron Chain Repairman, uh, nothing special about him except he can bring Iron Chain monsters back from the graveyard at once per turn, but then he cannot attack. Search Striker, he's really good for this deck because you, if your opponent is only playing defense monsters against this defense deck here, uh, then he can attack a defense position monster and immediately destroy it. No effect is applied. Twin Sword Marauder. Uh, I like him. He looks cool, and he deals uh, extra defense damage when he attacks a defense position monster if it's less than his attack. Iron Chain Blaster, you're going to need a couple of these guys. You're going to need one, two, I think I have three, I have five, just kidding. Five of those guys. 
If you tribute one Iron Chain monster to the grave, if you send one Iron Chain monster to the graveyard, then he can inflict 500, yeah, 500 points of damage directly to your opponent. And for Sim, and it's basically because of his defense. See the first Sim right there. And his defense, 2,200. That is pretty good for a normal defense monster, Dummy Golem. So when he uh, gets attacked, he plays him face down on the ground like this. See there, he plays face down in defense position. When he gets flipped, when he gets flip summoned, or, or and attacked by uh, like opponent's monster, he go dummy golem goes to your opponent's side of the field, and then you choose a monster from your opponent's side of the field that you gain control of for the rest of the game uh, until he gets destroyed. You're any grapple blocker, and what he does is he you you select one opponent's monster, he cannot attack or be tributed at all, as long as this card remains face up on the field, and during, but, the downside to that is during your end phase, you have to, uh, give up 500 of your life points for that effect to continue, you need Destiny Hero Defender, 2,700 defense points, he's pretty freaking awesome, uh, you're gonna need a few reptile monsters, I chose these volatile monsters, uh, doesn't really matter what you choose, it's just the volatile guys can bring each other from your deck to the field, or from your graveyard to the field, or from your hand to the field with their abilities, it's just, or from your deck to your hand, it's just, it's just based on which ones you use, you just need a couple reptile monsters, I'd say two or three would be fine, cause another card effect goes into this, you're gonna need one, man-eater bug, or two, however many you decide, just as long as you stay within the budget of 27 monsters. So you're going to need one of this guy. Um, it, what he does is he gets flipped face up, and you get to choose a monster to destroy. You're going to need magic hole golem, just for his defense, 2,000. You can use this effect if you want to, which you choose a monster, and he has that attack defense for the end of the turn, er, for the rest of the turn. And that monster, which you choose, you can use to attack your opponent directly. Pretty good, pretty good effect. Um, so let's get back to him. Cannon Bunny. We have 21 seconds here. 20 seconds now. Uh, when he's flipped face up, you choose one mon You choose one card on the field. You choose one monster on the field. Uh, whichever the opponent is, he takes 500 damage. When this guy goes to the graveyard because of battle damage, you bring out another Mechanical Bunny face down in defense position onto your side of the field. And it's just a continuous chain. I have four of those guys here. And so, that is it for this time. Hold on one sec, and we will be right back with the other things. Okay, and now let's get on. Now that we've done the monster part, the four star or less, let's move on here to your tribute monsters and your single synchro summon monster as you can see five tribute monsters and one synchro monster I don't use synchros a lot I do like them though some of them are really good um okay so let's move on to these guys first you're gonna have iron chain dragon right there as you saw previously I already read you the effect and stuff all you need to do is get that two little monster on the field and another monster you're gonna need that iron Coil tuner um, and another monster. I choose Iron Chain Snake, and you need to have him on the field at the same time since they both equal up to six stars, which is the amount of stars that you he has and the amount of stars he needs to be summoned. Boom, you got him on the field. You send both those guys to the graveyard, and he's tuner and he's synchro summoned. You do have him. He's not in your deck immediately. You don't like draw him out of your deck and like, oh, now I can bring him out. No, he's off to the side in his own synchro deck, just like Fusion Monsters. And, uh, what was the other one? Ritual Monsters, that's right. Okay, so you got this guy right there. Then you're gonna need to have the Creator. See this guy? He's pretty shiny, he's pretty sweet. I like him. There it is, all cleared up. I like him because of his defense and his effect. Each turn, you can bring out, you can, uh, special summon one monster. I I select one monster in my graveyard, I send one card from your hand to the graveyard and special summon the selected monster. You can only use effect once per turn. This card cannot be special summoned from the graveyard. So basically what that means is you cannot bring him back once he's in there. 
um, you can add him to your hand or to your deck, but you can't bring him straight back to the field immediately. He has eight stars, so you will need two sacrifices for this guy, but that effect and that defense combined is really good. A relative to the man eating bug, or uh, man eater bug, you're gonna need the noble man eater bug, <laughs> much more advanced. Uh, you're gonna sacrifice for him. He's only five stars, so only require one sacrifice. You're gonna play him face down defense position, and I'll tell you why. When you when you flip him face up, you get to destroy two monsters on the field, unlike Man Eater Bug, which is just one monster on the field. Now we're gonna move on to Labyrinth Wall. He's Labyrinth Wall is five stars, zero attack, and three thousand defense, and no special ability. Just a little description about him. You're gonna need Surprod Brachiosaurus. Uh, what you do is you, he's eight stars, but you only need to send to graveyard one dinosaur time monster to bring him out, and he has 3,000 defense points, and any battle damage taken by the opponent is doubled when they attack him. Guardian Sphinx, just because his defense and his effect, he's, what is he, that's five stars, when he gets flipped face up. Uh, all the monsters on your opponent's side of the field get returned to their hand. Now that you guys see all those guys, uh, the special, the good thing actually about Guardian Sphinx is that during your main phase, once per turn, you flip him fa back, face up on the field, or fl face down on the field in the defense position during your next main turn, after, or main phase after you flip some of them the first time. See so if you can use effect over again. Now we're going to move on to the spell and magic cards guys this is the more interesting part here and the part where you most of these cards you will actually need to have this deck there are three four four one two three four five six cards in this deck that you will definitely need you will need chain energy which basically makes you and your opponent pay 1000 life points each time you normal summon special summon set or activate cards from your hand any cards in the field are good to go you will need that guy then you will need a good old trusty share the pain which basically means you offer one monster on your side of the field as a tribute and so does your opponent have to do the same thing but by their choice you're going to need this card, Dian Kito, the Cure Master, so you can increase your life points by 1,000 points whenever you get that card. You're going to need a couple o Ukazis, which basically inflict 800 points of damage to your opponent. You're going to need one of the, uh, I think it's, I have two in here. Yep, I got two. There's another one there. You're going to need Fisher, so you can destroy the monster on your opponent's side of the field with the lowest attack. You're also going to need Spiderweb, and this card is really important. It is a field spell, as you guys can see right there. Just like Chain Energy was continuous, the rest of them were only one-time use. You need two of those, and Spiderweb, basically what it does is when your opponent attacks, or when when anybody attack when a monster attacks another monster, that monster at the, the, mo the monster that attacked is immediately switched to defense position at the end of the damage step, and it cannot be moved cannot be changed position until the end of your next turn so you can't attack that monster for a whole nother turn. You're gonna need Ultra Evolution Pill, which is why you need those reptile guys and a one dinosaur at least that you like to use that's tribute base that needs a tribute summoning. Basically what Ultra Evolution Pill does is it makes it easier to bring that guy out. To bring out the tribute summon dinosaur. What you do is you activate Ultra Evolution Pill while you have a reptile monster on your side of the field. You send that reptile monster to the graveyard and Ultra Evolution Pill in order to special summon any dinosaur type monster from your hand. Pretty good so that you can bring out a tribute summon monster without having to actual tribute summon. Yellow Luster Shield so that your defense position monsters gain 300 points on your side of the field. It is a continuous spell as you guys can see there. Um, it'll have that little infinity symbol. Field spells have this little star, 3D star symbol, as you guys can see there. Um, and we got four more cards for you guys for the spell of magic. You're going to need a continuous 
paralyzing chain. What does it each time a card is sent from your opponent's deck to the graveyard? They take 300 points of damage. Then you're going to need heavy storms. You can destroy all spell and trap cards on the field just in case you get in a little tight bind there. Uh, pot of greed. So you draw two extra cards whenever you activate pot of greed. And a Kibo Drop Mord, which is an equipped card. And all it does is you equip it to a monster, and that monster is destroyed after two turns and sent to the graveyard. And a Kibo Drop Mord is sent back to your hand. It's really good for that card. So let's swipe the slate clean here. Let's completely start fresh. We're going to go with trap cards. First, we're going to have Bottomless Trap Hole, which you activate when your opponent summons. Normal summons, flip summons, or special summons a monster with an attack of 15,000 or more. That monster is destroyed and removed from play. Com immediately taking that guy out. You're going to need Trap Hole, which is just a basic get rid of your opponent monster card. Normal summons or flip summons. When your opponent normal summons or flip summons a monster with a thousand attack or less, destroy the monster, not remove it from play. You're going to need Chain Burst. It's a continuous card and it says inflict a thousand points of damage to each player who activates a trap card. You pull that out after you've activated all the trap cards that you think you need. Then you'll have Magic Jammer. Just discard one card from a hand to the graveyard to negotiate the effect of a magic card and destroy it. It is a counter card by that little swoosh you see there with the arrow. Um, then you're going to need Trap Jammer. It's also a counter card as you see there by the swoosh. You can activate this card when your opponent activates a trap card during the battle phase. Negate the activation of a trap card and destroy it. Notice how it only said during the battle phase, so it's nothing too overpowered. Nordic Relic Lav Lavatin. That's like that's how I like to say it. Uh, select one phase of a monster on the field that destroyed a monster. By battle this turn, destroy the selected monster and card cards and effects cannot be activated in response to this card. It's really good. Gets rid of your high opponents attacking monsters. You're going to need one, two defense draws, as you can see there, defense draw, defense draw. Basically what this does, it says, activate only during damage calculation during your opponent's turn. The damage you will receive becomes zero, draw one card. You can activate these at any time, even if you don't take damage, just so you can get that extra card. So zoo sets. Oh, I'm to focus. There it is. Sakurasu, Sakura sets armor. Activate only when your opponent declares an attack and destroy the destroy the attacking monster. I don't know how to say that for sure. I think it's I say it Sazu sets armor just to make it easy so I don't have to learn how to say that because the this is a jip jip. Uh, hold on, I don't want to say it unless I know for sure. I'm pretty sure it's a Japanese card game, and Konami's a Japanese company. But I, I'm not sure. Let's move on now to Dimension Wall. Uh, this is really good when your opponent is attacking you. You can only activate this card when your opponent declares an attack with a monster. Instead of you, your opponent takes the battle damage you would have taken as a result of the battle. But the card that is attacked, that is on your side of the field, still gets destroyed. As you can see, there are only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cards there. Now we're going to do total card sum up. As we have ten cards, here's your traps. You have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen spell and magic cards there for you. You have only one, two, that's six tribute summon monsters. Tribute summon is basically over five stars. Um, and then you're going to have, let's have a total count here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 of these guys. Alrighty. So let's total that up. We got 10 here, 6 here, 16. Uh, that, well, we'll just do it like this. 27 plus 6 is 30, what, what would that be, 33, plus another 10, that was uh, 43, so you got 43 here, 
you got 14 of these guys, so that adds up to be a total of, uh, that's 57, 57 card deck right there, just under the limit of 60 cards as your maximum. So, so, now that you have the card list and you see all, you see that there are 57 cards in the deck, um, it's not that bad of a deck. I used it. It is it is a stalling deck for sure. Me and my brother my brother is a pretty good Yu Gi Oh card player. He plays too. Um his deck I would say uh I have one I'm my main deck, which is my dragon deck, which I've had forever and I refined to where I I don't I can't fit any more cards into it unless I get because I have certain sleeves on it a specialty sleeve that I got in well, when I lived in Oklahoma that I I could never replace I I could never get rid of those sleeves from that deck they fit so well there it's it's basically like they were made for each other the deck and the sleeves um but yeah that's that's about it for this deck. He, my brother, we dueled immediate, like, the same day that I built this deck and completely finished it and, like, got rid of everything else. And I did not refine it before, our, after, we didn't even get to finish our duel. It took 40 minutes before my mom was like, alright, you gotta stop, you gotta go to bed, get out of here, just, uh, quit, you can finish this up later. So, we just ended the game right there at a, sta at a standoff. Uh, we're probably going to duel again sometime soon with this deck. It is a standing deck. I made this deck because one of my friends that I dueled, he had a, he had basically like a stalling deck. And I was like, okay, if you want to stall me, I'm going to stall you. Uh, he, he's, a beginning, he's a beginner, and I'm kind of like the vet here. So, he would be the noob, and I'm the vet. And then... It did, it took me 15 minutes to beat his stalling deck, which is a new, which is a record for me, with my main deck, which is basically, I can use that deck and I'll win just like that, the game will be over, the game will flash before your eyes, it's really crazy, so I saw him make that deck, I saw him use that deck on me and I was like, alright, he's gonna stall me, then I'm gonna stall him, so I made this deck and the next time we battle, this is the deck that I'm gonna use. You guys should try this out. Um, the main cards that you will need are the Iron Chain cards and Paralyzing Chain. Obviously, it doesn't matter if you have a, like some of the cards that I threw in there. You will need Iron Chain Dragon. You will need the Spider Web or Spider Web. I think that's what it was called. I think it was called Spider Web. I'll see. Yeah, Spider Web. You will need Paralyzing Chain. Look, you will need Spider Web right there. Hold on, move it down. You'll need a paralyzing chain. You see right there. Uh, I keep two spider webs. You'll need o Ukazi, this uh, Ekibo Drakmord, and uh, I also like to keep chain energy in there just in case things get a little hectic. And obviously, Ultra Evolution Pill. The other ones, they're debatable whether you need them or not. The most of the monsters, though, you will need most of these guys to be exactly the same for this to work at all. Uh, this b deck is completely built around the Iron Chain monsters here, as you saw, and Iron Chain Dragon, which is the synchro, which is the main part of this deck, the heart and soul of this entire operation here. Iron Chain Dragon, as you see him there, so that you could get those cards into the graveyard from your opponent's deck every time he deals battle damage, and use Paralyzing Chain to inflict 300 points of damage for each card that gets sent to the graveyard, which is approximately three, and then Iron Chain Dragon or Iron Chain Snake also sends cards from the top of your opponent's deck to the graveyard when it gets destroyed with with the monster that it's equipped to that's on your opponent's side of the field. So this deck basically is just a stalling deck until your opponent either runs out of cards or runs out of life points because they ran out of cards. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Also. In the next video, I'm going to go over some rules for the game. I'm going to show you guys a rule book. And, uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment down below. Uh, just give me some feedback on here about what you guys thought about this video, what you guys think about Yu-Gi-Oh! 
and if we're gonna try it out, that'd be really awesome. Uh, so, as always, guys, I'll see you later.